What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and welcome back to Wreckfest for the final time in 2021. Happy New Year's to everybody out there, and to celebrate rolling into 2022, we are going to roll into one of the sickest tracks we have ever seen here in Wreckfest. One of the mods I downloaded off the workshop added a bunch of race layouts to the playground track that comes with Wreckfest, and I don't even know which mod did it. I've honestly been trying to track it down for like 20 minutes. I can't figure it out, so either way, we're going to roll right into it. This layout specifically is called Looping. Take a wild guess what it's gonna have us doing here in these 90s cars the sound of thunder back for one final time this year let's get to it before we jump into that though make sure you guys go follow our new tiktok at soundhead ent it's about time we have an official page of our own over there and now we finally do i'll be posting things like highlights extras behind the scenes stuff that you won't want to miss it'll be a great way to keep up to date with soundhead entertainment as a whole as is following any of our social media accounts there are always links to those in the description and it's something i'm really looking forward to with the new year coming up i can't wait to dive head first to that in 2020 so thank you to everybody who goes over there and drops a follow. I really appreciate it. And with that, let's get into this video. Let's go racing. Guess I'm not going off and underway fast enough for this Jeff Gordon car of mine. He's giving me a full inspection of my rear end, and I'm blowing the transition from dirt to pavement. And into the wall we go already, and we took a couple of legends with us. That is not the way to start this off. What did all you bums do up here? We're getting to this too late to see what happened, but there's carnage everywhere. We're going to drive straight through the middle of it. If Steve Park doesn't dump me, and he does, unceremoniously sent. I guess that was only right, but come on. Oh my God, it might be better to wait for our own eye to see what happens over here. But before that, we see what happened to us trying to get through the pack. This Steve Park is going to turn me and put me head on in the fence. It's just rude. While loud and intimidating and large, those things can be timed, it does seem, although Jeff Burton randomly coming out in front of you, that can't be timed, then we just dump inaugural NASCAR champion Red Byron, just throw the history of NASCAR in the trash. Oh yeah, go ahead, gentlemen, that seems like a great place to go ahead and send it right into a pole. Are you proud we hit Jeff Burton again, right in square in the door? These guys are dummies. We're safely to another checkpoint. I tell you, this is not the track to be at if you have arachnophobia. Let me tell you right now, so we're racing into the desert three wide through the middle and Jeff Burton's running people over. We're gonna be lucky if we make it through this checkpoint the way this car is driving right now. Drivability on a scale of 10, sitting at about 0.5 right now. Really not looking so good. Especially with the dirt and sand coming into play and the animals that won't even let me on the track and get up the ramp. I probably don't even want to go on this. I do not like the sight of what we're racing towards right now. I nothing about this seems good. Jeff Burton continues to be a menace to society. These guys are missing the landing ramps. I'm getting roped into this as well. Joining this accident. And a wheel comes off. That's going to do it. No, we're dead. Well, I was hoping using the strongest engines for these cars would help out with the long jumps and stuff. But I think the AI are literally outdoing the engines just with pure stupid with pure ignorance at driving this is the result thank you ai you killed me you wrecked me by god we're gonna do it we're gonna survive the initial shoot only to wreck it down here baby and get turned into the pile ricky rudd's going over early we might we might have to do this track like tomato here in reverse but i think we're good oh my god there is some hilarious stuff going on down here but we're getting to it just a little bit too late we gotta not get wrecked for the start of one of these uh, I think we're good. No, we're not good. We're not good. Wow, that did not do the damage I thought it was going to do. Oh, that is not the place I want to respawn, game. You can't put me in the middle of that. Here's a little lesson for all you punk-ass AI. This is what you do. You send it early, regain the control of the car, and then you almost wreck it through the checkpoint barrier instead of into it. But we save it, though. Please no stomp, Mr. Stompy Boy. Oh, we got Trevor Bain. Oh, we got me. Oh, no, we're stuck in Trevor. Run for your life, dude. Get out while you can. We're about to get my head kicked in. Oh, no. Oh, my Holy Jesus. We got stomped. Dead. I'm not sure I do want to see this again, but we need to see this replay. We just get caught in the spider's web. This is like a National Geographic documentary. And we're getting our ass kicked royally on 4K film. And there you go. It doesn't look nearly as bad in the replay, but Jesus, in the moment. Our ass got liquefied. One thing I know for sure is I have a newfound fear of mechanized spiders that can sit right next to my fear of the turn one meme, which appears to be striking or maybe not actually. Hold on, we may be able to get through this. We do. And now we can watch the greatest spectacle of them all. Look at these buffoons hitting the launching ramp installed by the Space Force and we're getting pile driven down in the Earth's core force right now. We got a special assignment. All tracks. 
should have one of those on it mandatory from now on we need a special variant of every track with one of those installed there may not be a true angle that can capture all of this oh my god oh my god yo x games mode that was crazy that has to be one of the top one percent saves in the history of wreckfest put whoever that is in the hall of fame we're gonna find out and then it's followed up by one of the greatest wrecks you'll ever see too just a bomb going off in the middle of the field we've had pinball and moon gravity trash plus action in this Oh, come on, AJ. That is not the spot to be going too wide, dude. Can't you see me struggling over here? Oh, look at you now, AJ. You did all that and for what? Just to run into the pole and get wrecked into by me, huh? And have me sliding down the ramp. Actually, never mind. I'll just ride right out of this right into the path of Mecha Spider over here. My new arch nemesis, Mecha Godzilla, could never. Is Kurt Busch going to set me in the right path? Hopefully, maybe not. Probably another one. And I can't even get to the freaking spider. Oh, now we're set right up in the danger zone path. This is not good, Bubba Wallace. This is not the time to be reversing, dude. This is not the area. This is not the place. Oh, he's upside down. He's getting stopped. He got annihilated. No, Bubba, I tried to tell him. All right, dude. <laughs> Kurt Bush, what is your problem? You had a whole desert to go around me. You decided to plant one on my ass. What is that? How do you like it? And look what you did to me. I can't even make the corner. This is just pathetic. Oh my god, Trevor Bain, what did they do to you? They got him again! Look how they massacred my boy, that son of a spider's gonna have to pay for this. Oh, I'm losing it on the wheels! Remember going off the ramp, we're going into a lake of spikes! What is this? Oh my god, my transmission and engine just came out. That's not a good sign. I think we might be done. We just got flattened like a flapjack. Look at my head! Doctors, please, someone get an exorcist! Oh my god, what did someone sneak into the garage and put Arca brakes on my car before we started this? What the hell? I can't stop this thing nearly as good as they can. This is entirely unjust. Bam! Barrel check. May have missed the main event of the jumps. We might also miss the gap here if we're not careful, which is we didn't miss an opportunity to ass pack Bubba Wallace, that's for sure. And we're gonna dump Michael Waltrip and cause a huge one. Don't look, don't look. It didn't happen if we don't look. It's alright. Somehow I kept that straight, even though I got aspect again. And I got Kurt Busch behind me on the leaderboard, which is extremely scary. This is scary with Michael Waltrip throwing me up on my wheels. And that is the perfect place for that to happen. Look at that. The rounded cage side saves my life. And only for me to have to run into the spider zone, which just close your eyes and hope for the best. Somehow we make it through. It's a drag race between me and AD and he's going to take me. It's all right. I can get him in the breaking zone. I'll, I'll break his ass. I'll do it for Dale. Bump and run. Bump and crash, more like it. All right, that was a bit pathetic. Dale would be a shit. Dale would be proud. I got him. I rustied his ass. Wave as we go by. Hold on to your water bottle, buddy. We're out of here. Nice and smooth on the power. We're gonna need maximum speed over the jump here. Looks like we're gonna clear it, and we take the lead in midair into the loop like a champion. But my car is disintegrating. What is that? What is that? What? I, I need some answers here. Do I have glass bones and paper skin? Is the loop made of razor blades? Does Johnny Salter have a brain? Can he stop ass packing me so I can teach you about this for two seconds? The world may never know. What I do know is that the four brain cells I have jangling around in here, they don't need this. They do need me to get through here cleanly. They did! And does that happen? Does it happen? Oh, of course not. I'm just going to sit behind the AI here like a dog in a wolf pack waiting for them to realize that I'm not actually one of them. And Jeremy Mayfield might have realized it rather quickly. Oh my God, Jordan Anderson definitely did. I just got bombed. Torpedoed. Have you ever seen a better definition for such a thing? And this is just getting obscene now. We are mass producing Hot Wheels at this point. As there is, oh, they are wrecking in the background too. This is getting uglier by the second. I'm sorry you had to see this. Finally done, Jordan. You, oh, what are you doing? He's dragging me over to the edge. He's throwing me off the side. You piece of trash. How could you? That was like 300. Some people would say this is madness right here, but others, they would say this is Sparta and we go die now in a hole somewhere. Never be seen again. Here, Red, hold this hit and go pass it over to Jordan Anderson there for me. I remember, oh, he got turned for it. I got rudiment turn to me, get off of me. Guys behind me are gonna get smushed if you're not careful as they all get launched ahead of us, including Jordan Anderson here. This might be our point for revenge. It was either gonna be a Days of Thunder drive through or that, and I think I actually helped him get through it, and I'm over here getting pummeled. So that's what I get. My revenge plots never go quite to plan, do they? And we're over here bopping barrels around. This level of tomfoolery needs to be appreciated and admired, as you will see here. 
with the launching pad. Maybe the greatest discovery right at the tail end of 2021. We have found one of the greatest Wreckfest elements that ever was. That just leads to a huge one every single time without fail. How do we install one of these at Talladega? That is my question. Oh, Michael Waldron, watch out, buddy. He got bodied by the barriers and we're getting bombed out here. The javelin missile strike from Dave Marcus. What the hell? Go ahead, Dave, go on through. I don't want to get struck down twice within 10 seconds by the same guy. That's not how I'm trying to live my life out here, but we just ended Brendan Pools. Then we just threw him down the steps of glory over there. We send ourselves down the ramp. Oh, we got a couple Brainiacs over here. They're looking for platform nine and three quarters. Listen, I'm done with the spider, all right? I'm not scared of him anymore. I'm running through here like the stud I am unless I run into someone laying in the weeds down here. I didn't even see that guy. And the front of his car is gone. Someone get a tarp. Someone else start playing taps because that guy, we lost that guy. I think the homie Kurt Busch just drove off into the desert. Good luck to you, bro. I'll see you out there probably pretty soon knowing the way this is going. I can't even get up this little sorry ass hill. Come on! Who the hell is this sorry sack of recyclables? It was Tyler Reddick too. Yeah, way, way to go. You can win Xfinity Championships so you blew in the face, but you can't win a fight against a 15-foot incline. And look at us now. This is what I get for talking mess. I'm out of the talking game. I'm out of the business. Can we even get back on? Is it going to let me take the loop? It will. Now, will the loop make my car shatter into pieces? Am I even going to have the power to get up here? No, I'm not. Why? That was the most dumb thing we've ever done in history. Never mind. That was the greatest thing I've ever done in history. I can't believe that worked. I might be a calculated genius. Breaking through the... F oh, who is this? Steve Park! What did they do to you, bro? Did I just help him through that? No, he is definitely still stuck. Well, I'll help you then. I will help you, all right. I'm going to get a 10-day contract with the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to help you so hard. Look at that. Oh, oh, what is this? A tandem donut. Oh, did we just trade places? Oh, no, we're good. Okay. I wasn't sure I'd even see the second lap today or a dog fight for the lead. It looks like we got both right here. We're going to take advantage. We take Steve Park out. Maybe. No, he's just going to drive away from that. He's going to pull away from me. Steve, what did you do? I don't even get to see it. You just threw it away all on your own, you dumbass. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Look at the state of us. Now we just got to survive for a lap. And that, that might be harder than it sounds, especially if we're getting pillared to death. Damn, I thought I had the timing okay on that one. I guess not. I... Oh, God. Please, I... There's... Uh, my car is really not the happiest right now. Uh, and that's probably why. That's probably not assisting. NASCAR teams are usually pretty good about, like, finding weird things to do to their car. But I don't think the way this rear wheel's looking right now is helping us very much. It's going to send me off the side of this ramp if we're not careful. Hold on to it. Larry Mack would not approve of this. Actually, maybe he would. We rode out of it. Is that a car? I think the hard part is behind us now, though. We could just get a clean launch here. We do. Oh, my God. Who the hell was that? Am I going nuts? Someone definitely just came shooting at us after we got out of that jump, right? Oh, God. This is going to spin me right into the fence again. And there goes the wheel. No, not. Damn it. I need some more runoff room game. You can't do this to me. All right, well, the first thing we need to investigate is who in the hell tried to take us out right there? Someone did come flying at us. They must have botched this loop so bad that it launched them backward. That is actually pretty hilarious. What a legend that person is. What an anti-legend I am for this move right here. Putting it in the fence like a schlub. All right, call me a weenie. Tell me I belong at Super Weenie Hut Juniors if you must but I'm letting the field go by. I'm not getting wrecked. I'm not gonna lie, I have to that just so we could do this and observe this destruction in all its glory and maybe even drive just right on by it. Maybe no, I will slid into the damn wreck. How the hell do I manage to do this to myself every single time? I had a golden opportunity. We still do actually, hold on. It ain't exactly ruined yet. Let me find a gap here and not flip the car and not get ass packed in the next century or at the very least I'm chilling at next New Year's now. Hell, you want me to prove it? You want me to prove that I've lived through 2022 already? I know everything about it. They're going to crash into this checkpoint pole up here right now. Watch. There it is. Am I clairvoyant or what? 2022 was so bad that everyone died. The end. All right. Out of the desert dirt and sand and crap. That's a good accomplishment for one lap up over the Lake of Spikes for the lead up ramp here. And if we can get over 100 miles with this jump, I think we're good. And we are indeed pretty much a given. So that's good to know. And now we got to take it super duper easy and baby it up 
the loop so I don't destroy the car and it started getting real wiggly about midway up that thing. I thought we were gonna die. Oh, all right, gonna need some deep breaths right here. Gonna need some concentration and some focus. We are one lap away from the last dub of 2021. Through the pillars, it's looking pretty good. Home stretch now, home stretch. I might just baby it. I might super deluxe baby it. I'm gonna belong at the Ultra Weenie Hut Junior. I'm not even gonna take this ramp. Can I just go around it here? Can I squeak through here? Oh, I don't think I can. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna wreck the car doing this. I think I just damaged the car worse than if I had just taken the jump. That was dumb. All right, huge moment right here. Please, Wreckfest God, shine down upon me in the car. Just don't take a wheel from me. I can do this with four wheels, please. Don't throw me off the other side either, no. Don't cut me off from this dub, please. I'm begging. Can I cut through? I already made it up there once. Please, yes. Please let this count. It looks like it's going to. That could be the last hurdle right here. Just got to get through the warehouse. Two sets of doors. One more set of doors. We're at the home stretch, baby. Home sweet home 2021. It's been nice knowing you, bud. Bye bye. Give me that last dub of the year. We smashed the car at the end. What a way to sum up a year with one final race. Talk about earning it. The loop tried to take it from us and we snatched it back. It belongs to us. The dub is ours and that is gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for another incredible year here with Soundhead Entertainment. Here is to an even more spectacular 2022. I can't wait to spend it all with you. Thank you all so much. And with that, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.